Good afternoon, I'm Kim Johnson. And I'm Ali Lucia. Thank you for joining us on this Super Tuesday. It's a big day in presidential politics. Minnesota is one of a dozen states holding nominating contests today. Here in Minnesota, we hold caucuses. Alaska and Colorado also have caucuses, but the rest of the states have primaries. Polls show Donald Trump with a significant lead over his opponents in most of the states holding contests today. Hillary Clinton is predicted to win a big majority of the Democratic delegates up for grabs. The biggest prize of the day is Texas with 155 Republican delegates and 252 total Democratic delegates. Polls predict Texas is the only state that Donald Trump will not win today. Ted Cruz is expected to win his home state of Texas. He voted there this morning. Bernie Sanders is from Vermont. He voted there this morning in the city of Burlington. Vermont has 26 six delegates at stake. Minnesota's top political leaders are predicting a strong turnout at tonight's caucuses. Ashley Roberts joins us live in the newsroom with a last minute push from the candidates. Ashley. Hi there, Ali. Political analysts say Minnesota is positioned better than ever to influence the outcome. The presidential candidates have certainly made their rounds across the state. Their efforts continue today ahead of tonight's caucuses. On the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton is in the Twin Cities for a last minute visit. Her first stop is Maps Coffee and Tea located in the Cedar Riverside community. Clinton arrived about 10 minutes ago, greeted by the owners, customers, Minneapolis Mayor Betsy Hodges, Lieutenant Governor Tina Smith, and Governor Mark Dayton. Our Nina Moyni is there. We'll have more for you at 5 and 6. Clinton is hoping her popularity with older black voters pays off for Super Tuesday. Those voters helped Clinton win the South Carolina Democratic primary. She is expected to gain far more delegates than Bernie Sanders today, which could make it tough for him to catch up. On Monday, Clinton appeared at a rally at George Mason University in Virginia and had this to say. If you will stand with me, I truly believe America's best years are still ahead of us. So let's go out and make that come true. Thank you all so very, very much. On the Republican side, Marco Rubio has a rally in Andover. You're taking a live look at the courtyards of Andover Event Center. Doors open 30 minutes ago. The rally starts at 1230. Rubio will speak before a crowd of at least 800 people. Yesterday, Rubio spoke to a crowd in Tennessee where he criticized Donald Trump and called the billionaire a con artist. Rubio said voters should cast their ballots based on their hopes and dreams for the future instead of fear and anxiety. If you vote for me, when I am your president, we will do what needs to be done, and we are going to leave for our children what our parents left for us, what Americans always leave their children, the single greatest nation in the history of all of mankind. The chairman of Minnesota's GOP and DFL parties are encouraging voters to attend precinct caucuses. Both parties will take a presidential straw poll at 7 o'clock tonight. Voting has to be done by 8 p.m. To find a party caucus near you, just head on over to WCCO.com. Ashley, what are the requirements for someone who's interested in participating in tonight's caucuses? Sure, Kim. Well, you have to be eligible to vote in the November election, live in the precinct where the caucus is held, and you should generally agree with the views of the political party holding the caucus. Okay, Ashley, thank you.